Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about a 1959 Ford Skyliner convertible. Talk about a really, really cool car and an exceptionally well optioned car. Give you all the details in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and a place that has absolutely beautiful cars to say the least. And today we're gonna to talk about our 1959 Ford Skyliner convertible, third year of the Skyliners. And I'll tell you what, they really have all their butt ducks in a row now. And this particular one is a great example. Now you're gonna to wanna to watch this video from start to finish because we'll do a cold start, we'll do a walk around and everything so you'll get more of the details of this car in complete detail, which is always good. It's always a good thing. Or you can click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to this car on our website at www.ellingsunmotorcars.com. So if you're looking for a classic collectible car, we have close to a hundred of them in inventory at all times, ranging from cars back in the 1920s all the way up into the 1970s and beyond. But you know, 59 Fords are just kind of one of those really unique pieces, if you will. And this one was exceptionally well ordered when it was new. Whoever bought this car knew this was gonna be the top of the line for Ford and they wanted to have all the good stuff. Uh, under the hood is a 352 Ford V8 with power steering and power brakes both. So those are both really, really nice options on these 50s cars because a lot of them people didn't add that stuff because it cost an extra 30, 50, 80 dollars. But you know, someone did it at the time and it's really nice when you're driving a car of this sort down the road. This is a big car. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. I mean, with that Continental kit on the back, which is another one of the options, uh, it is almost 19 feet long. So you're talking a car you probably don't want to send your kid out to take their driver's test in because it would be a hard one to parallel park, even for a really good driver, whatever. But yeah, just take a look at the overall quality of this car. I mean, look at that engine compartment. It's beautifully detailed. All the chrome has been redone. All the paint is just beautiful. And again, like I said, it's got accessories. It's got the accessory bumper guardettes. It's a special hood ornament. See, I love the bullet things on the fenders as a kid. You'd line up the enemy cars coming at you and you'd be you know, shooting at them or whatever. So that's always one of the things that uh, I always liked as a kid in these cars out of the 50s. Beautiful Ford hubcaps with the tri-tone colors in it. Uh, the white wall tires, of course, would be correct for 1959. But take a look at the rest of the details of this car. Beautiful interior, the tri-tone colors with the with the uh, black and the white and, and the red. Look at the dash and everything. Nice thing about this car, it has not been quote unquote molested in any way. It still is all totally original. The dash is original. This is a padded dash. Good for those guys that <clears throat> hit dashes when you were kids because nobody put seat belts on in those days. It was an option. This one happens to have seat belts, by the way, just to let you know. Uh, town and country radio, like I said, original uh, interior. I love it. Spotlight on the fender, very appropriate for 1959. Again, mostly were used to look at house numbers on houses because a lot of, you know, there weren't as many street lights or whatever, so that's what you would do. You could zoom in and look at it. Uh, like I say, inside, you know, the safety padded visors as well. Um, so I'm just taking a look at this thing. It is just exceptionally done. Look at the other two options I look at. It's got power windows and even a power seat. I tell you, whoever ordered this car in 1959 knew what they were doing or they knew the manager and said, you should order that stuff because that would be really nice down the road. So uh, we are also going to show you a operation of the top, top going up and down. It's really a mechanical feat, if you will, when you think about the time and age and the cars today that have that stuff. These were, you know, we're back in the 50s and they're still doing that stuff. I look at the, it's got the skirts on this deal and I had mentioned it's got the dual exhaust with the uh, Continental kit as well. Now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment and sub subscribe. We really appreciate it and you will find this car on there. You'll find all our current inventory at Ellingson Motor Cars 
and it'll have some of our cars in the past that we've sold that are some very interesting ones. So if you got time, you're looking on the internet, just like old cars, take a look at those sites. You'll find something entertaining to say the least. But yeah, if you need to add one of these cars to your collection, I mean, it's a convertible in every sense of the word, but in the event that, like I said, you get uh, rain clouds come or whatever, you're going on that road trip, uh, by golly, you can uh, put this top up in less than, uh, less than two minutes, the top will be up in place. Now, if you're like me, I need to come down and take a look at it. I just want to look at the overall quality of cars. I like to feel, touch, make sure everything is uh, videos and pictures show. Trust me, this is one of those cars that's really, really exceptionally nice. The fits are great, paint is beautiful. Uh, it is all around a really, really nice car. But you can come down. We'd love to have you come to Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4. So if you're just looking to come on down and take a look, love to have you come. So with that being said, we thank you again for watching our videos and going and visiting our website and giving us your consideration. Appreciate it very much. And we will see you next time at EllingsonMotorCars.com. All right, now that the opportunity comes, we are going to show you what it, how this hard top works on this car. Uh, you have to have it in neutral, uh, have the key on, and we are going to give her a, give her a try here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this is an incredible engineering marvel when you think about it from 1959. I mean, they did build these cars in 57, 8, and 9, but I mean, it's just one of those things you just go... Whoa! I always want to make sure to put the visors down just to be on the safe side so they don't have a possibility of getting caught or something. But yeah, think how heavy. This is a big piece of... big piece of equipment here. You have to make sure it's a neutral. I bumped this neutral lever a little bit. And there we go. Look at this. All the screw motors are working properly, of course. And there's a little light on the dash that tells you when everything is up and running and done. And there you go. She goes all the way down. Still is in the red, so it means it's not done. It's going to the final stages here. And the little red light just went off. So there you go. Now we're going to do just the opposite. We are going to pull it back the other way just for fun. Show you how it works going in reverse. So, you know, if you're out uh, cruising or whatever and all of a sudden the rain's coming up, you can pull over and within a minute or so, basically that's all it takes to get the get her done and it's unscrew motors unscrew. Look at that. Like I say, one of those uh, seven wonders of the world or something. There you go, going down properly. There you go, boom. And the thing's going down, and again, the little red light on the bottom by the switch here stays red until all the screw motors are all the way tight, and it is done. There you go, what a neat invention.